Hi, I'm Harold, the happy chemist. Welcome to Vertosa Labs. Now we're going to talk about how is emotion being applied in beverage. The emotion technology has been used in beverage industry for a long time, and there are two major applications. It's either delivering a flavor or delivering a cloudiness. For example, if you try to make a citrus flavor drink, we need to make a citrus emotion, since citrus is not water soluble. Or if you want to make a cloudy drink, emotion can help. However, none of those applications are critical to the success of the beverage. For example, let's say you lose 20% of the cloudy emotion, but the beverage is still cloudy. In the case of cannabis beverage, losing emotion droplets is not okay. Why? Because we are creating a product that changes people's consciousness, and it is our responsibility to ensure the consistent potency. Just like a beer, you know what you feel like after one or two glasses. And that type of consistency is needed in our industry to build the confidence in our consumers. How do we make sure the potency is consistent? First, we have to know the beverage ingredients so that we can pick the most compatible emotion. And then we need to know the pasteurization method, heat or no heat, temperature, duration, because they all play a role on potency stability. And then we need to know the packaging material. If it is a can, a PET bottle, or a glass bottle. And make sure the emotion is compatible with the material over time. And finally, we need to accurately detect the cannabinoid from the beverage using analytical tools. This actually has been a problem in our industry due to inconsistent testing methods. But no sweat, we have developed our own testing SOP, which works best with our emotion. So it doesn't matter which lab you go to, as long as they are using our emotion and our SOP, the potency can be accurately detected. And that is what makes Vertosa different, and that makes me happy. This is your weekly infusion of science.